Hi there, this is Rachel Tannenblatt. I wanted to share a quick tip because I saw a question this afternoon about how music teachers could include virtual instruments on Schoology. And I actually just discovered something that's pretty neat that you can do with Schoology assessments this week. And so I created an assessment that's going to include virtual instruments for my students to play. So I want to show you how I did that. I'm going to be using Scratch for my virtual instrument. If you've never seen Scratch before, they are user created projects. And so there's plenty that music teachers have created. I have never coded a Scratch project before. So shout out to the teachers who have done this. Thank you for your work. Um, the one that I chose for this assignment is this Orf xylophone. So thank you to Mrs. W Music for making this project. I like this one specifically because it's a simple diatonic scale, which is perfect for what I need not too much to overwhelm my students. If you have never used Scratch before, you have to start by clicking the green flag before the project will load. So you might have to tell your students to do that if they don't already know. So you click that and then when you tap on the bars of this xylophone, it will play the sound just like in real life. So if I want to include this on Schoology, what I'm going to do is grab the embed code. So you go down to where it says copy link and then you're going to see the HTML code that you can embed into Schoology. So when you click on the copy button it will automatically copy this to your clipboard. Now I'm going to show you on Schoology how you can include that. So I already started setting up this assessment and I added a video question. So but when you click on video it will add a new question and I already typed out the instructions for what I want my students to do. So this is just simple text that I typed and then I included an image so that they would know what notation I want them to actually be reading and playing. So I already put that part in. Now I need to add my virtual instrument. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the source code. You can see it up here next to the picture that looks like HTML brackets. So when you click on source, it will toggle to the HTML view. And I'm just going to paste the code that I already copied earlier. And it will load right here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a student view of what this is going to look like. So if I preview my assessment and start the attempt, the students will see the instructions that I put in the text, and then they'll see the image and then the Scratch project will load right underneath it. And again, they'll have to click on the green flag to activate it. And then the recorder will be at the very bottom. So what I will ask my students to do is to start by clicking the record button, and then they'll get a three, two, one countdown, and it'll confirm that they're actually recording, and then scroll back up to the top of the page so that they can sing and play and do all of that, and it will get recorded into their video and then make sure that the students know that at the very end they have to click on the review and submit so that they can turn their video into you when they're done. I hope this is helpful and that you're able to use this with students. I'm really looking forward to getting to see and hear my students playing virtual instruments just as if we were together in a physical classroom.